Hi students, greetings. Now we are going to see the unit 5 that is XML DOM Ajax enable rich internet application with XML and JSON. First let us see about what is XML. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. What is DOM? DOM stands for Document Object Model which is a standard programming interface used to manipulate XML documents. XML DOM provides a tree-like structure to represent an XML document. Each node in the tree represents an element, attribute or text node in the XML document. The top node in the tree is the document node which represents the entire XML document. The child node of the document node represents the element attributes and the text node in the XML document. Now let's see about Ajax enable rich internet application with XML and JSON. Ajax stands for asynchronous JavaScript and XML, which is a technique used to build rich internet application that can update parts of web page without requiring a full, full page reload. Ajax is commonly used with XML and JSON to transfer data between web server and the client-side JavaScript code. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language and JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. These are commonly used to format for exchanging data between web server and client-side JavaScript code. To create an Ajax enable rich internet application, we need three steps to be followed. First one, set up the server side programming. First, we have to set up the server side programming. Step two, we have to design the user interface. And step three, write the JavaScript code. Next, you, we can use the XML or JSON to transfer the data. For that, first we have to decide whether we are going to use XML or JSON to transfer data between server and the client. You can use XML HTTP request object to make request to the server and receive response in either XML or JSON format. Second one, handle the response. We have to handle the server side response by pairing the XML or JSON data and updating the content of your web page accordingly. Test and debug. Test your application thoroughly and debug any for any issues that arise. And finally, deploy. Once you are satisfied with your application, deploy it on the server for user to access. So we can uh, assess by you uh, asking the following questions. Here are some of the textbook and reference book for your reference. Thank you.